Mm-mm-mm-mm. Morning, 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 morning. What's up, everybody? Sorry, I'm just trying to get into the, the gist of things here. Uh, I've got, like, leftover coffee from last night. It's butt cold. I was debating... As you guys are saying morning on going and making a fresh pot of coffee. But then I'm thinking, you know what? I really want to finish this space nail thing because, man, I'm tired of it. I, I want to get it done. I want to get it done. You completed it, the update, last night? I, I almost finished last night. I, you know, they were telling me I was really only like a half an hour away from completing it. I do need to go back and either do one of two things. I either need to take the snails with me. Cat P, what's up, cat? I either need to take the snails with me and do the snails or uh, get a better drill mod, right? And I, I could do that. I think I have enough bites. I haven't really been collecting bites or anything. All the bites have been coming from the missions, which has been awesome because it's it's kept me going. I haven't really done much of anything in the sense of, you know, doing research or anything along those lines. I could just get the diamond drill and we could just go with the diamond drill. We could go with using the snails. If we do that, you know, the only downside to that whole thing is that I'm going to lose a bunch of inventory space. But one of the snails replaces the drill. All right, so we could do that. We could definitely do that. Another one replaces oxygen, so I can have oxygen for a long time. And we could do the light one. So that's three snails that I would have to feed. Which means I would really need to go out and, like, yeah, get some seeds, right? That was some seeds that were popping right there. That was from last night. Last night's seeds. <gasps> Holy God. Where am I? I can't fall in a hole here. That would be end game for me. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get out of the heart of rock. There's no way I can get out of the heart of rock. I just can't. I can't dig into it. So I thought about going down into this area down here. Only because this is going to be closer to the ground level. Like, uh, cave level. And I don't know if I need to go cave level. But I have a feeling I do need to go cave level. Uh, they're down there somewhere. We can go check that out. All right, let me, you know what? I want to go back and let's get the <sighs> debating, debating what I want to do. Let's go back and get uh, a higher level drill. Yeah, a higher level drill, I think. Either that or we can actually use... Some of the snails. Hmm. If I use some of the snails, I have to feed the snails. It just it just means I'm gonna be eating up a bunch of backpack space. Uh, that might be good. That might be bad. That might be indifferent. I I don't know. All right, back at base. Back at base. Old Wolf, what's up, bud? Ron, how you going? Yeah, I think I'm just going to get a better drill. I mean, we have some tungsten. We don't have any copper, though. So tungsten carbide. Oh, that's carbon. Tungsten and carbon. We can go with a, a level 2 drill. All right, level 2 drill will get me in there. I can go diamond drill. Diamond Drill's gonna suck up power like you wouldn't believe, but I can put a cute RTG on my back. Let's do that. Let's let's have a cutie here instead of just a regular. 
So I've got power for days. And let's go with the diamond drill, which is um, graphite and it's two graphene. It's two graphene, right? For diamond. Yep, two graphene. So I'm gonna need to make ammonium. I don't have enough here. Yeah, I'm gonna need one. Let's um, let's get rid of. Wow, thinking this morning, I have cold coffee and my brain is not activated. I need to go get some more laterite. Uh, eh. <laughs> All right, start our day off with a little bit of mining. Why not? Right? Why not? Let's come down here, get a little bit of laterite. I think I went the right way for laterite. I've really opened this cave up a lot. I might have gone the wrong direction, but I see some in the distance. There, I think there's still some over here. Maybe a little bit. I think that's a graphic glitch. really all I need. I think this is gone. Like I said, I think that's a graphic glitch. Alright. We're heading out. We'll get the laterite. We'll go back down here again. Get a little bit of soil. And... Make our ammonium. I don't think I have ammonium close by. Otherwise, I would just... I just go dig some up. But I don't I don't remember there being any close by. So we got to go get some. Got to go generate some from soil. There's probably some in these hills, but I you know, I don't want I don't want to go looking for them. All right. Let's process this stuff down. Okay, perfect. So we'll take one piece and we'll make ourselves another thruster. Okay, let's go get a bunch of soil. We're gonna need to make two, at the very least. Let's get this thruster on before I forget it. Oh, wait, I have another one over here. Oh, I have two over there. Ooh, wait, I don't have to get any soil. Oh, I don't have, I don't have a, uh, dang it. I don't have an atmospheric condenser here. I only have the atmosphere condenser on Glacio because we needed it. All right, so hold on. Your old plans for Saturday and Sunday to do a fresh mission, start new. It's been fun. I've had a lot of fun on it. I am going to do a video sometime today about the update, but I'm not going to spoil anything. I, essentially, I'm just going to tell people to do the mission. It's self-explanatory. I mean, you really don't mean, need me to tell you what the missions already tell you to do. I think there's people that have already done walkthroughs on it, and it's like... I don't know. I, I kind of found that ridiculous because there's really nothing to explain. There's some like little secrets that you need to figure out, but... I was like, I don't, I don't, shouldn't spoil those, you know? Those are too good to spoil. People that were watching saw what was going on, but, you know, I don't, I don't want to put it into a video and spoil it in a video. 
I thought it'd just be best for people to just kind of, you know, get out there and do it themselves. And they're not that hard. I, I mean, really? They're not that hard to figure out. Okay, we got plenty of soil. Let's make a little resin. Okay, we have a little resin going. Once we get the resin done. I did pilfer a lot of the batteries that were here, so you know what? Why don't I spin up some batteries? Just really fast. Okay, good. Get a little batteries going on. We needed that. Let's take three, and we'll make a platform. I don't think I have a B platform laying around, so we'll get a B. And I believe I have enough for an atmosphere condenser here. I I brought back enough ingredients for an atmosphere condenser. At, at least I think I did. I didn't realize I had this resin container over here. Should turn my head. Just put that down. So I know I have some resin. Drop these guys down just in case I need some more. We take uh, these batteries. I'll put them back over here. This has been kind of my power. I have a little bit of varying power going on, like some wind and a little bit of solar here on the base. Not a lot. Like I said, I haven't really done much on the base. Atmosphere condenser right over here. Oh, let me plug in this solar panel because we're going to need it. This atmosphere condenser is going to suck the juice. Okay, Atmo. I need iron, glass, plastic. So, iron. Check. Glass. We have any quartz laying around or did I take it all with me? Go figure. I took it all with me. Quartz. Let me just get some. It's right at the bottom down here. No no need to spin it up. Marlon, what's going on, bud? Sitting right here. Get a couple pieces of quartz. Make our plastic, which I think is carbon. Donaldson, what's up, bud? How you doing, my friend? Plastic, it's uh, carbon and what? Compound, got a piece of compound right here. We need to get some carbon. Let's do a carbon. Get a piece of glass. Get our carbon as soon as it's done. 
Destiny 2? Nice. I don't... I heard Destiny was really good. I, I, um, I thought about it for a long time, but I didn't... I've never done it. Okay, make the atmosphere condenser. Let's make a storage really fast. It's exactly where I want it. I think I'm gonna do tacos tonight. I was talking to my son about doing tacos. I'm I'm in the mood for some tacos. Okay, let's gather these guys up. Need two pieces of graphite. And we only need two pips of hydrogen. Get some hydrogen going. Is it technically that's all I need all right let's make what we've got to make I gotta make some hydrazine make some graphene make our a diamond I only need one diamond right I need to unlock this yeah only one diamond is necessary all right beautiful oh wait I didn't make the diamond yet now it'll be beautiful let's see what I got for this one quest Fuel for thought. Hydrazine thruster. What? <laughs> look at that. I mean, look at that. Little to no work, people. Little to no work. I'm going to use this thruster up, and then when we come back, we'll, we'll use the hydrazine thruster. We'll also probably go to a bigger ship, because I've been messing around with this tiny ship the entire time. Tiny ship. All right. Diamond drill three. Let's put this puppy down, get rid of it. Nice. All set. Drill three, ready to go back to the base. Probably nothing else that I need. That was the only purpose for me coming back here was to get that. And then we can uh, move on. I can, you know what? Well, just to kind of speed things up a little bit. Why don't I? Um, unpack it so I don't miss it later. Sure. Let's see. You're absolutely right. Let's just put it here. So we know it's sitting there. There we go. Doing this with a teeny shuttle best test of transportation skills or insanity. I mean, I haven't quite figured it out. Could be just insanity. Mm. 
<laughs> Both ways works. <laughs> uh, we really should work on buy I mean it's amazing that I've gotten this far in the game with doing very little I mean very very little uh gathering of bites I'm gonna take this platform B with me just to give me kind of a leg up so I don't have to build it over there There we go. I could take, let's see, probably should take some like aluminum or something. Let me take a little bit of aluminum. I'll take a little bit of ceramic. Yeah, we'll just take this stuff. I, you never know, right? Take a, I don't have tungsten already. Okay, that's good. All right, now let's get out of here. All right, cat, take it easy. Still rocking the small shuttle, man. It's the, you know, it's the only way to do it, man. Rocking that small shuttle. Problem is, I didn't put down a beacon. Friends. I want to say it's over here. I want to actually say it is this one. But let's just rotate and see if there's another one that pops up. But I, I know I was off to the side. It could have been this one, though. Oh, man. See, that's what I get for not dropping beacons. God, it could have been any one of these. Yeah, I landed toward the left pole. You're absolutely right, but there was three of them. Which one was it? Choice number A. Choice B. Or choice C. Was it that high? I mean, there's four, actually. Well, I feel like that was it. Oh, please be it. Please be it. That wasn't... Oh! <laughs> oh, epic guess. Guess what goes down first, man. Guess what goes down first. Freaking beacon's gonna go down first. Uh, as soon as I get my ship on the ground. And I pull this out. I just needed you to know. <laughs> I, love you. <laughs> I love you too, man. I <laughs> uh, didn't bring any compound with us, so that was rather dumb. Could have used a little bit of compound. All right. Yep. Didn't bring any compound. Well, somewhat of a good job. Not entirely a really, really good job, but somewhat of a good job. I didn't bring any compound. We need to go on a compound mission. I'm, I'm okay with this. I, you know... I'm okay with exploring and, and finding what I need. Wouldn't the platform interfere with the landing spot? We're going to move the landing spot, actually. We're going to make um, a landing pad, which would be significantly better. Let me see. Let me just run around really quick. See if I can see anything. It is so dark on this planet. 
if we cut into the ground, um, we just don't have any compound to... be able to get back safely. Let's let's cut down here. Let's see what, what, what we can find down here. Let's go this way. Okay, gas plant. Gotta keep an eyeball on the oxygen. I could bring the ship with me, though. My hell with you, buddy. Gather these guys up. Yeah, let me uh, let me just drag the ship with me really quick. Get a quick bit of oxygen. Come up on this side. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Come on. There we go. Work with me, brain. Take the battery. We've got resin over here in the distance. Let's go over there. Just need a little bit of compound. Keep an eye out for Rex. Uh, don't spoil anything. If you're spoiling things, that's not nice. No spoilers. Or I have to jump on your head. Grab this. Let's come over here to the resin. Let's get a little resin. Not really what I'm looking for, but needed. Maybe there'll be some compound over here. Teen, what's up, buddy? What does it take to make a soil centrifuge? Do I have what it takes to make a soil centrifuge? I have aluminum. I brought aluminum with me. Standard stuff. Okay. What's the what's the recipe for a soil centrifuge? Aluminum and what? Resin? Tell me it's resin. Let's look it up. Compound. Yeah, figures. Two compound, and I'll be set. Two compound. Uh, uh, two compound. What I would give for two compound right now. I usually don't have this hard of a time finding compound. Nice try, bud. Failed. You failed in your mission to kill me. Yeah. 
I remember one day back in pre-alpha when Joe told me the secret of alternate starts. We started on, oh, I think it was Aatrox or something, and we spent two hours looking for compound. Oh, there's some right there. Man, that was the most epic adventure. Look at that slide ramp. Aha, I found you. You can't hide from me. Watch it only be one piece. Uh, we need to drop something, and we're going to need oxygen. Let's put some stuff on the shuttle. Okay. Oh, dang. That would have been first death. Oh yeah, baby. One more. That's it. Home free. Okay, perfect. Ah, uh, yes. Aatrox is tough, but we are tougher. All right, let's go back over to the beacon. Get a trucks taken care of. All right. Oh. <laughs> I said we're tougher, but we're not because I needed four pieces. Dang it. Uh, hold the phone, George. We needed four pieces. Where was that pathway here? Mighty Wolf, what's up, buddy? Um, the pathway was... Over here? Over here. Okay. We have enough air? I think we have enough air. Maybe it's time to do an Iron Man run? Different Iron Man run? That would be interesting. With the snails added in? Hmm. Come on, one more. There we go. That's what I want. Okay, 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 okay. Stop pooping it out. I just saw a little bit of terrain fragmentation. A little bit of split terrain there. Okay, now we can get this mission on the road here. Because I forgot to bring the printers in this mission. Let's get the medium printers going. Perfect. Uh, let's put it here for now. I'm going to immediately soil centrifuge. We need to get that thing up and running. Where did I put that aluminum? There we go. All right. Perfect. Perfect. We're now set. We're ready to go. We can start building up, and then we can start looking for these guys. Happy day. Happy day. We need to put more... Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. 
Let's so get the soil centrifuge up and running. Um, we can build a large printer, and then we can get the landing pad down, and we'll be set once we have the landing pad ready to go. Okay, better. Perfect. All right, so I need, let's get some resin fired up. How, do I have enough for a bee? I don't. Uh, I have two pieces of resin. That's all I've got, it's two pieces of resin. So why don't we get a little bit of resin going. And we can get a couple bees fired up. That'll give me enough for, what, two bees? To be or not to be? Then let me fill up on soil as well. Start digging up the ground here. Get a little compound. We'll get a large printer, print out the landing pad. And where are these guys located? I've got one underground, one about the same level, two is about the same level that I'm at. Hmm. Iron Man, no oxygen. Could be no deaths, too. No deaths are not that hard. Perfect. Let's get this over here. Disconnect this guy for now. And we'll get our large printer built. Okay. No oxygenator. No oxygenator and no tethers. No oxygenator until you can make it, right? So you've got to research it up. So you can't take oxygen from the hab and you've got to kind of live off of oxygen filters until you can get there. But you can, what's the first one? I, uh, what's the one? What's the snail that gives you oxygen? Is that Calidor? Or is that DeSolo? 
that would really be interesting. No oxygen until you can get that particular snail. It would kind of mess you up once you create the shuttle, though, because once you create the shuttle, you can get oxygen from that. But if you try to get away from it as fast as humanly possible, maybe that'll work. Stacalador one. That might be an interesting... <laughs> that might be an interesting adventure. All right. Uh, landing pad. Let's get the landing pad set. Uh, two ceramic, one aluminum. Uh, aluminum, two ceramic. Get the landing pad built. And we'll build the landing pad over here. Oh, I have no soil. Let's get a little bit of soil. Cutie back. I need some forever power. There we go. All right, this is decent enough for the landing pad. Didn't have to be perfect. Just out of the way a little bit, and yeah, we're good. And then we'll see what else we have to build up to. I'm I'm not envisioning that we have to build up a lot. Would not using snails defeat the Iron Man run? Maybe that's the only way that you can get oxygen. Is that everybody anybody who's playing has to get their their oxygen snail. I mean that you have to feed it, right? Beautiful. And the nice thing is, we get a couple cuties here. We get two little cuties. Do I have another space on this? I don't. Not yet. Uh, we need another space. Right here. There we go. Alright. Verification. Atrox shells. Let's see. Noxious plan has curious appeal for grassopods. Scan discarded shells that have been... Consumed by the spew flowers. <laughs> so they're in spew flowers. All right, that's that's funny. We need to find some spew flowers. Why didn't I find a shell the last spew flower that I I knocked out? Was it just not paying attention? Because there was one that I wiped out down here, right? Oh, no, I didn't wipe it out. I left it there. Nice. Okay. We're off running around looking for spew flowers. There's another one. That's awesome. There's another one off in the distance over here. Sounds like the popping candy, the pop rocks. A little bit, right?
Okay, two more. Two more spews. Go on, spewage. Yeah, there's my compound right there, right? When you don't need it anymore, <laughs> it shows up. What is this? Was I here before? No, man, but that looks like a nice... Doesn't curve around. Looks like a nice old cave entrance. Uh, let's see. Spew flower. Where are you, spew flower? Less low, what's going on? Thank you for subs uh, for following. Really appreciate it. Sorry, I haven't had a cup of coffee this morning. I have cold coffee from yesterday, and it's not really that satisfying, to be honest with you. <laughs> Dog. Now, you think spew flowers would be pretty easy. I thought I destroyed a spew flower a while back. I didn't really pay attention to see if anything popped out of it, though. Oh, compound over here. Yeah, didn't get that far. Yo, Jimbo, how is this game? <laughs> It's it's good, man. I've I've played this game for uh, how many? Uh, Nineteen hundred hours or something like that? Some ridiculous amount of time. It really depends on you know what you like to do. This is more of a sandbox exploration game. You know, this update did give us some lore. The missions were introduced a while back, but, um, so that's nothing new, but they added some missions and stuff, so you get some pretty decent content out of it. I've spent just doing the Space Snail mission, um, roughly about nine hours doing this mission, so that's a nine hour piece of content. Jeremy, thanks for subscribing, appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for being here this morning. Or evening, wherever you might be in the world. And I can't believe... I'm not finding spew flowers anywhere. This is amazing. And I'm not finding spew flowers. Is it fun as co-op? Oh, hell yeah. I have a dedicated server. I have two. One is a Patreon server for our serious guys. They wanted their own server. And then I have a public uh, dedicated server where people can just go on and mess around. And and that's been pretty fun. There's a couple people here that have worked on that server. There's Hull, um, Mighty Wolf, I don't know if Ron's in chat, Ron LaFlem, Kilmowski. Uh, those guys are on and off on the public server as well. And... Uh, They're constantly doing stuff. They're they're constantly making stuff, doing automation, doing challenges. They did the billion byte challenge on the dedicated server, which is pretty impressive. Uh, they've done a bunch of other things. All right, maybe. Maybe if we go down in the caves, we'll get more spew flowers. I'm I'm not seeing an abundance of them on the top, which is amazing to me because typically they're like all over the place. Uh, and I need I just need two more. So why don't we cut a hole into the caves? And we'll go from there. Let's see. Do I have any compound on me? 
One thing of compound. Let me spin up a little bit of compound. And then we'll take off. And I want to save these flowers. Get some compound spun up. Better than No Man? Mmm. You know, No Man is a different type of game. No Man definitely has a lot more content, but realize that it took them three years to get that content in there. But it's a totally different type of game. You can't really compare Ashenir and No Man's, other than the fact that they're both space. That's it. That's the only comparison you can make. You get some tethers built up. For the multiplayer, maybe. Well, again, it's what you it's what you want to try to accomplish. You know, No Man's has the whole combat in there and ships and and that type of stuff. Where this really doesn't. I mean. This game, you're really solely focused on five planets and uh, two moons. That's that's this extent of uh, the system, and they're never going to get to a bigger system. It, it's just they, this is their game. They have no interest in going. Oh dang it! Did I leave my container? They have no interest in going anymore. Making anymore? Not with this one. I'm I'm really hope that they decide to put out Astroneer 2 and to be honest with you I I hope that they don't focus on trying to do cross compatibility you know all the different platforms just try to stick to PC They could you know leverage everybody's video card and memory a lot better than they can on the consoles and stuff like that. Nothing against consoles, but they either need to figure out a better way to do it because maybe they just don't know how to do it, or uh, let's say I have a diamond drill. Why am I getting stopped here? All right, finally we cut into the caves. Let me uh, tether back down here. Are they working on another game? You know, about a year ago, uh, Adam jumped in to a live stream that I was doing. And, you know, they had been talking about we're looking for another game, we're, we're trying to figure out what it's going to be, so on and so forth. And I, I had just been talking. I didn't know Adam was on. And so, you know, people were asking me that type of question, and I I said ex exactly, essentially what I just said. I, You know, they've been talking about working on another game. <laughs> and Adam says, or they've been trying to think of, you know, what to make. And Adam chimed in and he said, oh, we, are, we figured it out. So does that mean they're working on it? I... Uh, I don't know. I would hope that they are. I would hope that they have the team split in half. The last conversation, or one of the conversations I had with Joe, I asked how many developers they had, and he said 30-something developers. And being an IT guy, it doesn't take 30 people to work on one product. I mean, even if they were all split out doing uh, different uh, updates, like, you know, one person was working on Q1, the other person was working on Q2, another... And I'm talking team. And I won't say person, I say team. Um, you still would have some people left over. So I would think those people are the people that are working on new content. I would think. At any rate. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. We might have to go down another level. Let's see. 
Yeah, let's zigzag down another level. I don't think we're deep enough to get a lot of the aggressive plants. So let's uh, let's just cut in from here. Are there any animals in this game? No, I mean, they just introduced... And you have to be a, like a longtime fan of the game, but they introduced a space snail. That was like an ongoing running joke for the longest of time. And then finally, they introduced it. The, the important thing about it is they introduced lore into the game. So the fact that we now have a mechanism to distribute some story is the big bonus here. Not necessarily the snails, but the snails are fun and the missions for the snails are fun. And there's some, oops, God, there's some minor benefits to having the snails on. They give you essentially like a buff, you know. This is sounding like the right place. Let's keep going down. Am I starting to level out again? It feels like I'm leveling out. Yeah, I need to I need to change my angle here. Hold on, let's change the angle. Yeah, there, there's never gonna be any shooty battle stuff. They've, they've made that, or they've made that statement over and over again. There's, um, really not gonna be any water. There's no water in the game right now. Um, what else? What else do people keep asking for? More planets. They're not gonna do any more planets. This is the game at the current stage, and it, it will be. This is the end. I mean, they'll keep adding content, and they've been adding content, but this is pretty much it. Doesn't this have like a, I thought Aatrox had like a really dangerous cathedral level. Don't they have like another level down? Isn't there like a really dangerous level? I'm gonna run out of tethers. As a matter of fact, I'm out of tethers. Dude, don't fall down there. That's death, dude. It's been so long since I've tried to drill into the core. I don't I don't remember what's down here. I think this is the level though. Yeah, that's the cathedral level with all of the plants and stuff like that on it. Oh, look at that com <laughs> look at that compound. Holy smoke. New update, lore, space nails, that type of stuff. Fix of the sticky terrain, which has been around forever. I'm glad they finally decided to spend the time, effort, and energy in fixing that problem.
I'm just trying to get down here to see if I can find the spew plants. I, I could run around the surface forever looking for spew plants, but I thought there was a level that had a ton of spew plants down here. Maybe I'm thinking something different. Meals on Wheels, what's up, buddy? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. But I thought Aatrox had a ton of spew plants on there. Somewhere. All I'm seeing is the dagger root stuff. It doesn't look like the level. I think one more deeper. I know, right? Uh, go extreme leveling. Or stream down. I hate doing this because you get an uncontrolled slide and you open up into a cavern and that's it for you. Yeah, it might be this down here, right? Ah, oh, yes. That... That looks a lot better. Yeah, that's the level that I want. Tether, ramp speed, slide, good time. Yeah. <laughs> Until you slide to your death. Which I've had uh, quite a few times. Like this right here, this could be a bad day. Oh God, man, especially when it does something like that. Yeah, add the no damage snail. You know, that would be kind of fun. The no damage snail, and I guess technically you could drill straight down, right? You don't have to worry about falling to your death. <laughs> Did someone say your name? <laughs> that might be a new challenge, right? DBA, what's up, bud? How you been, man? It's a Friday, bud. You going for a better day today? You said you weren't having a good day yesterday. I'm sorry to hear that. All right, spew plants. Probably went a little overkill to get to the spew plants, but you know what? Heck with it. Okay, there it is. That's complete. That's the level we were trying to get to, the cathedral level. Now I gotta go back up this garbage.
Can't wait for work to be done. It's Friday. You want work to be done? Just strip off all your clothes, run naked through the office. Work will be done for you quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, depending on how well you do it you might have a nice vacation to a padded room you know <laughs> did I start a new game yes I started a brand new game sorry I missed that comment not if you <laughs> not if you work from home <laughs> Oh, isn't that so true? <laughs> Not if you work from home. <laughs> all right, well, that was a fun little adventure. Made it all the way down there. All right, uh, let's finish this, or get this mission really going now. Keep that. I need that. Okay, get the terrarium. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna need, uh, what? Uh, soil. Oh, wait. What was the mission again? We need, um... Soil helium. Ouch. And a spine lily seed. Spine lily seed. Uh, what's a spine lily seed? Let's put the soil in. I don't have enough soil. Oh, go check that down ship for helium? Is that what you're saying? I can do an atmospheric condenser. I think I have this stuff for an atmospheric condenser in here. Iron, glass, and plastic. Oh, I don't have a chem lab. I can build a chem lab, though. Uh, let's see. I have iron. I can make glass. I'd have to build a smelter. I brought tungsten so we can make a chem lab. I, I, we can, I, can, I can knock it all out. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, the down ship was way off in the distance over there. This is on the off chance that I find helium on it, right? That was dumb. I'm sitting here digging and I didn't... I didn't equip the canister. Mm. Shadow, thanks for the fall, bud. Appreciate it. Alright, let's get some rasin built. Helium would take a while, though, wouldn't it? it? Might take a while. Let's see. I can tether out, or I can just take. Uh, you know what? You know what I'll do. Why don't I? 
pop open the oxygen tank. We have a quartz. Oh, I still need to process it, though. Uh, let's get a smelter. Dang, I have no more place to put this stuff. Just put it there. It's gonna go away, but we'll just put it there. All right, take it easy, Moreland. Oh, I have, you know what I have? I can recall these guys, can I? Uh, how do you do the recall? Yeah, I can reclaim. Who was the oxygen guy? Oxygen tank really fast. I forgot who the oxygen snail was. Which one gives you oxygen? Silva gives you light. Is De Solo gives you oxygen? Probably De Solo gives you oxygen. No problem. Problem solved. Of here. We'll go check that down ship over there. Need some soil, just in case I have to build. Oh, maybe. Fingers crossed, right? This is a gold mine right here. Man, you can see an auto arm right here. Look at that, five, six. Oof. All right, let's see what you got. Let's see, how do you enter this one? Is it from the part that's hanging in space right there? <laughs> it probably is, right? Very nice. Very nice. And a nanocarbon alloy. Get out of here. And a couple diamonds. Is that what that is? Yep, a couple diamonds. That's crazy. Take a diamond too, man. A little methane. We can leave the rest. What's on the the other ends loaded too? I want to check out the other end. Wow. I'd have to really build up. Let's see. Yeah. 
Everything I needed for the tier 3 drill and the wreckage, I know, right? Should have gone to that wreckage. Oh well. It's okay. Oh, nothing on this side. Just enter on this side. Uh, no, a little sum sum. What is this? Nitrogen. Another thing of methane. Can't get a camera angle on the rest of it. That's not bad. That's some good stuff right there. Wrecks a gold mine, no doubt. Alright, let's go back to the base. What's the spiny plant, though? I mean, that's a wheeze weed. This is a dagger root. What is the spine plant? Okay, helium's done. Flat green ones with the red spot. Oh, okay. All right. I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, let's see if we can find. Whoa, jeez. Hey, man. Let's drop off this. Let's get rid of these stupid seeds. Let's drop off the nano carbon and the diamond. That's a big score. Thank you, DBA. YouTube needs to do something about those guys. They pretty much got rid of them for making comments in um, the comment section. But now you have these stupid people coming up with these names. I can't believe that they allow you to make names like that. Stilgar is the one with the oxygen. Okay, so Kalidor one is the one with the oxygen. Stilgar. I, I think I dropped all my resin thinking that I could find one of these plants pretty quickly. And I'm not. I have one filter. Okay. Uh, are these plants on Aatrox? I don't think I've ever seen these plants on Aatrox. Those plants are only on Kalidor, right? Oh, wait. Nope, there's one. See, you just have to talk about it enough. <laughs> you just have to talk about it enough and it'll it'll appear. All right, that's done. Much easier to find on Kalidor? Yeah, right. Because of the ground color. Alright. Beautiful. That's done. Let's turn it in. Need to put the horn on it.
All right, let's collect him. Let's collect him up. Drop the organic off. And let's grab the horn. Oops, my bad. Oh, he appeared. I took the horn off, he appeared somewhere else. No way. Thanks for coming closer, bud. Funny, bud. <laughs> You're sitting on a ledge. Uh, I should have brought a piece of resin with me. It's all right. Maybe we have enough time. Don't go anywhere else. went outside and fell out of dagger root. Found you again, monkey. Sweet. Get in there. What up, bud? Ah, <laughs> uh, dagger root does kill. <laughs> All right, completed that. Let's go back to Silva for the very last time. And while we're at it, I'll just throw one little thing of uh, research in there. You can just pick one of these guys. It can be crappy research, but that's all right. All right, what do I have on me? Uh, cutie, that's fine. The terrarium, that's good. The horn, that's good. The seed, I don't think I need the seed. Um, I could bring back the whole kit and caboodle. Matter of fact, let me do that just in case. Somebody has some weird idea that I have to blow something up or put in some chips or something like that. Let me take that with me. Uh, anything else? I'm going to leave the cuties here. We have two here. 
That's fine. Let's take, oh, let's take the um, nanocarbon. And... That's it. Let's go. Thank you for that, Rohan. I probably would have forgot it. Yo, 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 where's my cursor? There we go. Oh, I'm gonna have tacos tonight. I'm gonna make some tacos tonight. Yummy, yummy tacos. DBA, you need to come over, have some tacos. Have my tacos. My, my yummy tacos. Taco coma. Nanocar room was a super nice find. All right, let's, uh, let's finish up. We just need to verify, right? Let's verify this one. Just gotta stick them in the lab. There we go. Final one complete. Everybody's all together. Let's finish this mission out. Okay, all together now. Use the data log uh, to activate the sonic array hatch. Slot all the gastropods into the sonic array. I get the lab suit. Woo! And I get two cuties. Nice. All right, I need enough backpack space for this. So, let's see here. Let's drop some stuff. Put the nanocarbon, yeah, here. Somewhere where I won't forget it. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Activate this. Updated the hatch. Uh, slot them into the what? Something open in the back? Or is it just the little hole right there? Can I save it and share this? Yeah, I could save this. You want me to save it before I finish it? You want me to pull the file off before I finish it? Hold on. Would that work though? You think that would work? Let's put them all on the ground. Hold on. Let me put them all on the ground. I'll save it again. Let me pull the save file off. And then, and then that way, for anybody who wants to try to cheese ball it, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work or not. Somebody's going to have to try it and let me know. Uh, do, 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 I will put it up on the cloud save here just momentarily. Give me a second, guys. People, somebody had asked me for this save file, so let me copy this save file and I'll put it up in the shared save files. Under my directory. And we'll call it 
that. Uh, I'll call it. Uh, Okay, it's in my directory. I called it snail right before turn in. So you guys let me know if that works. Whoever wants to try that. All right, slot it in somewhere on the top. On the top. What? It only goes in that little hole there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the ticket. Now I need to get up here. How do I do that? Mm hmm. Let's just jump over here. That's a better camera angle. Okay, my friends. You're in here. Oh god. <laughs> They're chorus. No. They're chorus. <laughs> oh. That's funny. That's pretty cool. Uh, did the last one open up? Hold on, let's see here. I bet you the last mission logged opened up too. Yeah, find the entry, right. Uh, let's flip over, hold on. Let's see. We need, uh... Outfits. We need a new outfit. This might be. This might look good with the lab coat on there, though. Let's equip this outfit and put the lab coat on. Nope, doesn't look good. Uh, okay, new. We need a new one. This is the outfit. Let's see, let's equip this one. No, that's Leaf King. Uh, I want a new one, completely new one. Okay, outfit five is gonna be my completely new one. Okay, so let's see here. Let's put on a uh, lab coat. We need a, a cool visor for this. Uh, actually, let's get rid of the hat first. Let's see, what's a, what's a scientific-y kind of hat? Oh, right, we need to get rid of the mask first. Let's, uh... I don't really have, like, a scientific-y mask. Turn that off. Visor. Let's change the visor. Uh, we'll be an exodynamics guy. And then hat, I need a different hat. <laughs> we need a light bulb on the head. No. <laughs> oh, no, that's classic. 
Um. Do I have like the propeller head one? I don't have propeller head. We're gonna have to do the light on the head. That's it. That's the suit. Let me override. <laughs> Let me override this one. Okay. We need it. Well, we need a different color. I guess the white suit. Oh no, it's not. It's not always white. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on here. All right, I'm gonna go with uh, Unit Two. <laughs> unit Two looks good. We're gonna go with Unit Two, and then uh, let's overwrite this. All right, that's it. That's my scientific outfit. <laughs> it's a dorky. <laughs> so glad I started watching your streams, your YouTube videos. It helped me so much on Astroneer. Uh, with Astroneer game played so much. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, two evening attire for the what the color. Evening attire. Uh, uh, da -da, na -na -na -na. Where is evening attire? Oh, evening. Okay, I can do evening attire. Sure. Let's overwrite this one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we can do that. There we go. All right. Well, that was it, man. We got all of our little guys. We got them. We brought them home. We did all of the missions. I did all of this solely by following the missions. I really didn't go out of... There's only really one thing I went out of my way to build, which was the atmospheric condenser. Other than that, I just followed the missions. I really did not spend time getting a lot of bites. So I didn't invest a huge amount in getting bites. All the bites that I got were pretty much from the mission. I did occasionally pop open a thing or two, or occasionally pop open a seed. Uh, oh, use the day log. We need to do the day log. Data log. Okay, uh, conclusions. Maybe a bit hasty in my initial assessments regarding the Galastropods. I can understand why Exodynamics sought to integrate them into society rather than exterminate them. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know that was an option. Uh, the temporary physical improvements they provide their caretakers is an objectively beneficial increase. I've yet to quantify the more permanent positive effects. They've had my uh, productivity and mood. I must admit, I'm glad for our temporary course diversion from Lubos Prime. I find myself strangely, strangely excited and anxious to expose the little ones to that planet. It will uh, eventually change them. Inevitably change them. I can only hope for the better. Nail will no doubt laugh at me for this. Whatever he needs must be urgent. I can hear him calling. That's pretty cool. You know, they don't talk about... In the SOS, they don't talk about the attack. And somebody says I didn't open the door. Uh... Is it supposed to open this door? I don't think it's supposed to open that door, is it? For those of you guys that have done this? Does it open the door at all? Cool. 
Cool, got a full RTG. Nice. That is nice. That's it. That is it. That's the whole line. I don't think that door gets opened up. I mean, they were, this is like the, the container that they're, this door opens up when you put a new one in and then you see them get scanned in or something like that. I don't think it's a hab. No, pretty much it's over. Now you just have to spend the rest of your life <laughs> uh, of your time feeding them and uh, keeping them alive. Yeah. You don't really have to worry about that, but it would have been an interesting concept for them to play on the entire farming mechanism that they put into the game if you did have to occasionally feed them. And if you didn't feed them occasionally then maybe you would have to go out and search for them again. I had also talked to them about... Joe came on last night while we were working on this. And, uh... You know, somebody said it was the Furby toy. I don't remember if the Furby toy, but back in, like, the 90s or something, there was a toy where if you stuck them next to each other... They would start communicating with each other, right? They'd start having little conversations in their their own language and stuff. And I thought, wouldn't that be fun if we could also do that with this, right? If if these guys, if they were close to each other, would just start communicating with each other. <coughs> I don't think that's going to happen. But it's all right. Tower up and jump off with the no damage snail. That'd be kind of cool. I like the idea of the no damage snail. The no damage snail, in conjunction with the portable oxygenator, a portable RTG, uh, you're pretty much indestructible, right? It said the only thing that it wouldn't... <laughs> they combine together to make a Voltron. The only thing that it wouldn't allow you to uh, protect you from is suffocating, right? So, increases jump height, sprint speed, and reduce movement penalty for carrying heavy items. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's the Aatrox one. Um, so that, that would be kind of an interesting adventure to run around with those guys. I think this is going to be our new save from here on out because, you know, we have the snails completely done. This is a brand new save. We don't have the effects of the sticky surface anymore. Um, I think this would be a good place to kind of start with stuff and, and uh, probably make a new production base or something like that. I could see a new production base in the hills over here. That'd be kind of cool. But I really appreciate you guys joining me. I got to go buy taco stuff. So this mission took pretty much 10 hours. It was a 10 hours of content if you start from brand new. And it was just doing these missions. That's all I focused on. And I got 10 hours of content. And it was pretty fun. I will be doing a video. If not today, it'll be out tomorrow. About this update. And I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil the little hidden things. Somebody, Some people have already gone ahead and done that. I think it's worth just doing it yourself. I, it's so much fun, and it's not that hard to figure out. I really didn't have to put any energy into figuring it out. You come across weird anomaly type stuff, and it's like, oh, wait, what is this? And that's kind of what you're looking for. And if not, it doesn't matter. The compass tells you. So if you use the compass, it points to the space nails, and you can find them pretty easily. <laughs> you just might have to figure out a thing... Or or two, and I can't stop hiccuping for whatever reason. So I must be hungry because I'm talking about tacos. <laughs> and that's my meal tonight is tacos. I got to go buy some taco stuff. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for showing up and, and watching me finish this because I had a good time with it. And uh, we'll be playing a little bit more Astroneer. Uh, probably... 
next week and maybe get some people on. Maybe we can do this as a multiplayer thing. I don't know. We'll check it out. We'll see you later. Bye, everybody. We'll see you.